Good morning, church. My name is Matma. I was born into a God-fearing family. My mom used to take me to Sunday school every Sunday, and I enjoyed it. As a kid, I never really understood why I went to church, but one thing for sure, I enjoyed and loved going to church. When I was in grade one, my parents took me to a Catholic school. The school was probably one of the best things to ever happen to me. Just at the time, I didn't realize it. We had religious education where we would learn about being God-fearing teenage girls. We had regular church services and worship mornings, but I never took anything serious. Then I got to get five or six. I started going through some friendship and family issues, and I remember the first person I turned to was God. That was the first time in a while I had felt in sync with God. From there, I fed the spiritual me. At that point, I felt good. Then I got to grade seven and I started losing touch with God. It bothered me, but I was so stuck in my own issues that I didn't realize that in fact I was losing touch with God. I got myself a number of sticky situations in almost every aspect of my life. I remember I got home one day and I got my Bible. The first thing that came to mind was Jeremiah 29 verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. My mom's friend told me to, to look at this verse when she got me my first big girl Bible. I read the verse and I got the answer I've been asking myself. Why was I in the situation I was in? We all know the saying that everything happens for a reason, but that saying has nothing compared to that verse. From that day, I've always believed that there is a path put out for me and that really everything happens for a reason. Then came the time for high school and I was in a totally new, different environment. My spiritual life started to decline. I had no one close to share with. I felt like I was alone and I felt like I was going to get judged. Therefore, my praying and my devotions decreased by 10, ten times more. Luckily, I came across the Student Christian Association at school and I started to attend. And things got better, but I was still searching for something more. So at the beginning of this year, I stopped attending the meetings in search of something that I felt was missing. I had no idea what I was searching for, what I was searching for, but I knew to fill that little hole in me. At some point, I can't remember with who, we were talking about how to serve God and I thought I had nothing to offer. That Sunday at Confirmation, we did a lesson about serving God. We spoke about the different ways that people serve God. I was sitting there and I thought to myself that I wasn't ready to serve God, that I'm not worthy of serving Him. Later that week, I was sitting with my friends having date nights, and I remember that day we had a very touching date night. I decided to pray for my friends. I prayed and when I looked up, one of my friends was in tears and she said to me, I quote, if there is anything that moves me is when you pray. That prayer made, meant more to me than you will ever know. You have touched my heart, close quote. I was speechless. To think that the few words I shared touched someone, I couldn't believe it. After that day, I felt that little hole in me ceased to exist. I finally realized that I finally realized what I was searching for. I was searching for a way to serve God. To this day, I believe that the way I serve God is for praying for those in need and giving them blessings. I've been able to make friends that are passionate about God as I am. I have grown as a person, but mostly spiritually, and I have become the best version of myself. Now, as I stand here, I realize that without confirmation classes and camp, none of that would have been possible. I thank my mom for being with me throughout this journey. Thank you. God bless.